We are counting down to the Indy 500 with just two days left until the big race. Nina Criscolo is live at the track, and Nina, you're looking at one of the oldest records around the race and the young man who could break it this year. Yeah, that's right. Good morning. Records are meant to be broken, right? Well, this one was set 67 years ago here during the Indy 500, and it still stands. So the youngest driver who ever, ever won the race, and for one woman, it's a legacy she's carried a lifetime. Dad was catching him one to two seconds a lap. Tani Ruttman lays on the gas when it comes to bragging about her late father, Troy Ruttman. Oh, definitely. My father uh, was my hero, my friend, my dad. And she tells his tales like they just happened yesterday. He knew if he won the Indy 500 in 1952, that would like put him on Broadway type of thing. It's a roar to a $60,000 victory. Win it, he did. And he was the youngest to do it at 22 years old. I know I have four chances to break it, and this will be my first. That's 19-year-old Colton Herta. He's vying to win the greatest spectacle in racing and shatter the record. And it's that possibility that has made Rutman and Herta fast friends. Rutman attends the Indy 500 every year. I live for every May. And she makes a point to meet any driver who could break her father's long-lasting record and wish them well. I'll be more than happy to be there in Victory Lane to congratulate you. Sincerely from my heart, because that's who I am. My dad would do that. It's a blessing that comes from the deep love of a daddy's girl with racing in her blood. It was almost like I had to ask for, for like a hand of, in marriage. I had, to, I had to ask the father. She's like, oh, it's okay if you break the record. I give you my approval. I was like, oh, it made me feel a lot better. Had my father be alive today, he would probably be amazed that that record is held for 67 years. And uh, I can't think of a nicer, better guy to do it than Colton Herta. Herta will start Sunday in road to a strong spot for a rookie who is certainly in the hunt. As for Tati Rutman, she's been behind the wheel this week as well. Just last night, she raced in a vintage 70s sprint car at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I'm Nina Criscolo. Brenna and Scott, back to you. Uh, Nina, thanks so much. It's been uh, fun actually watching behind Nina because the